Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's quick tip. I'm Chris, and I'm here with Mike. And today we'll be talking about hot folders or workflow automation in ErgoSoft. So, Mike, let's walk through what a hot folder is and what it does for someone who may not have ever seen it or heard of them. How do we get there? What does it look like? Let's take a look. No problem. The hot folder in a nutshell is a way for you to automate the processing of images through the hot folder, right? With a bunch of different options and settings and processing the images in different ways um, automatically when they're dropped into a certain folder, that's the hot folder. And then at the end, you get a job with all of your settings applied and then you can print the job and you don't really have to do any configuring in Composure yourself during the whole process. It just processes it all and brings it out the other side so you can print it. Very nice. So if I was already using ErgoSoft, where do I begin? Click on hot folder. Yep, right here. So we're in the control center on the home tab, hot folders on the right. I'm going to click that. Okay, so a little bit of a role reversal today. Mike has just completed uh, his training. I am the customer. And I'm going to take a stab at explaining the hot folder at a super high level for everyone who's not seen it before. So the first step for setting up a hot folder is clicking on the hot folder on the top and selecting new. And then the next thing to do is to select a file path where your different art files will be stored. So what's gonna happen is when you save or drag those art files into this file path, it's gonna automatically be processed. So wherever we want that to happen, that's where we would choose. In this case, our uh, print environment and our printer is named Prodigy. So we'll call it Prodigy Hot Folder. And by default, the hot folder name is this full file path. So uh, we will have the ability to give this a more user-friendly name. And this is going to come up when we're looking at the hot folder display because we don't want to see that big long string of characters. So we can call it Prodigy Blankets. Let's say all of our blanket art files are going through with a specific set of settings, color management, layout. And of course, we have to select the print environment. So we'll select our ErgoSoft Prodigy print environment. And then the, the real basic part is done. Now we have the option of adding a description. So if you have a complex arrangement of triggers and presets that we'll look at in a minute, you can just put all the information in there. And so the next thing that you want to do is select how the data is being handled. So one thing that Mike pointed out, I found to be very helpful is you have these different options for what happens to the data as you're processing images through the hot folder. And you really want to just make sure you keep the files if an error occurs. And then finally, the last part of this initial setup is a file filter. So let's say that you have uh, files with various formats all being funneled into the same general area, or if you have mixed formats in the same location, you want to make sure that you don't accidentally print the wrong file. So here you can specify TIFF or JPEG, for example, and then that will make sure that you can only process that file format. So this is kind of where the, the basics begin. At this point, you have a hot folder and you can begin dragging files in and they'll print. Now we're gonna go through the next few options in real rapid fire, and then Mike will expand upon those in a future video. So the next option on the left is job. This is where you can specify the media size. You can have all of the same options that are available for media size presets in the job composer. They're all available here. And then you have the next two options, which are position templates and nesting. So if you made a position template preset or a position template itself in ErgoSoft before, it's right here. The nesting options are also the same 
as the job composer. So all of your rectangular nesting options are here as well. And then below the nesting, we have the ability to do triggers. We'll talk about the triggers a bit later. This just tells the hot folder when to start printing. And then you have these options on the very bottom, which should look familiar. So this is all the data management options that pop up in your print dialog when you click print in the RIP. So depending on how you want to handle your data, that's what you could select there. And then on uh, further down, we have image import. So this is where the beauty of the whole preset series we did comes in because now you have the ability to leverage the presets that you made in this hot folder. So the composite presets we talked about that combine different individual presets are now available here. And so now you can begin to see how the layout capability becomes very complex. You suddenly, you have the ability to do these really complicated job layouts just by dragging files into a folder. It's really nice. Um, so all your image presets are there. And then finally, contour cut. So we did a, a series on contour cutting. And so if you want to incorporate the generation of a cut file, or if you have cutting involved in your process, select that here. And so now you're really getting fancy because you're going from, hey, my art file has been approved to all the way through the rip cut file generated. And all you have to do is drag that file into the right folder location and you're done. So Mike, thank you very much for the incredible training you provided to me before to help me understand that more. And I look forward to hearing about some of these options in more detail in the next video. Thanks for watching everyone. And please contact us if you have any questions.